Hey guys, welcome to the Zero Practice Manager implementation course. My name's Will and over the next eight weeks or so, we're gonna be working together to roll out XPM in your accounting practice. Now in this video, I'm taking you through a project plan. So we're gonna be looking at the amount of time you need to invest each week up until you go live on XPM and also talk about the work that's involved after we go live. Now as you're working through this course, if you have any questions, uh, on the bottom right hand corner of each page in Link Academy, there's a little chat window there. So if you've got a question, send us a message, and if we are online and available, we can answer that then and there. Otherwise, it'll create a support ticket in our support desk, and then we can answer that via email as soon as we are available. So uh, what I've done is I've left a document below this video that you can download, which is exactly the document we're about to look at, uh, where it takes you through what is involved each week. So I've broken it out into the modules that you need to be working on in each week, and also suggesting the amount of time you need to allocate to complete that module. So let's jump in and we'll check it out together. Okay, so here is the document that I've left below this video if you'd like to download it. But what we've got is we've got our four weeks up here, then we've got our go live, and then week five and week eight, we've got a little bit of work to do also. But uh, I wanna first talk about this here, our go live. Now our go live is the date that we start using XPM. So that should be the first of a month. So what I'd recommend doing is choosing your go live date and working back from there. So if your go live date is going to be the 1st of April, you wanna start this course uh, around about the first week of March. You can start it earlier if you want, that's just gonna give you more time to schedule this workout, but I'd really recommend leaving yourself four weeks, otherwise you're gonna be really cramming to get everything done. So in week one, these are all modules here, so each of these under each week is a different module. So module one is course introduction and account setup. That's what you're in right now, it takes around about an hour to watch the videos and also to uh, go and do the work that's involved. Now what I'd do is I'd go through and schedule uh, each of these items out in your calendar. So jump in, create an appointment, and make sure you don't miss that appointment, and that way you're gonna ensure that this will all go smoothly and you'll go live on time. So the next one here that I'll also do in week one is module two, which is setting up your XPM. I'd recommend about two hours to get this done. That's gonna be going through all of your, uh, setting up all your templates and all your job states and just getting the account set up ready to go. Week two, uh, importing your clients. Now that's two to four hours. If you're using Zero at the moment, we can import the clients straight from Zero. If you're not, it does take a little bit longer because we need to massage the data before we get it into XPM. So you're looking towards maybe the four hour mark. Designing your documents. So we're gonna be sending a lot of our invoices out of XPM, so we need to make sure that our documents are nicely designed. I've created a whole lot of templates that you can use. You just need to update your logo and your address details and your bank account number. So that takes about two hours there. That's in week two. Getting into week three, uh, we've got our job processes. So I'll be taking you through all the different processes you need to understand to use XPM. So it's about three hours there because what I want you to do is watch the process videos and then go and create the jobs in your XPM. And I want you to work through that whole process so you understand what you need to do. Now, setting up your workflow schedule. I just want to have a little bit more of a chat about this one here. There's a decision that you're gonna make in week three, whether we roll out XPM with a workflow schedule or without a workflow schedule. So with the workflow schedule, all of your staff are gonna have a workflow schedule they can log into, and they're gonna see all the jobs they need to do by the month, and also the amount of time that's allocated to each task. And as they complete them, it removes off the list. So they might start the month with a large list, at the end of the month, they'll be down to a very small list or hopefully nothing to do, so they can start working on the next month's list. So if you set this up, you gotta remember that a lot of that work needs to be scheduled still, so the practice manager will need to go through and schedule that work out for the team. Now I've made this as efficient as possible, so I've had a lot of the scheduling roll over from your job templates, but there are still little bits of information we need to populate in order for those workflow schedules to work correctly. So what I'll do is I'll watch all the videos in the workflow schedule and then make a decision whether you wanna roll that out or it might be something you wanna work at at the next financial year. But yeah, make a decision at that stage whether we roll out our workflow schedule or not, but just wanted to note that you don't have to do it because it does create a little bit more work for your practice managers. Right. Week four, what we've got here is setting up your recurring jobs. Now, this is the bulk amount of the work that we have to do when setting up XPM. We need to go and create a recurring job for every engagement we have with our clients. So what I do is I take you through a, uh, I create a spreadsheet for you and you create all of, so each tab has a, uh, a different job template. And then we go and put all of our clients and all of the jobs into the correct templates and into the correct sheets. And then we wanna take that and then we distribute the work across our team so everyone has a go at entering those jobs. That way we can knock out the work really quickly rather than one person having to enter thousands of jobs. So um, that's all explained really nicely in uh, that module there. 
but I uh, just want to point out that that is the bulk of the work when setting up XPM is loading those recurring jobs. So once all the recurring jobs are set up, we then check our setup. So we want to go and delete all of our um, test data and make sure that our integration is all set up correctly. Uh, and then we do our staff training. Now I've got some different options for staff training. One is you're going to uh, invite all of your staff into the lunchroom and put on some uh, muffins and coffees and things and we can put the uh, training up on the uh, screen and then just hit play and then you can see me take them through uh, all their training. The other option is you can watch those modules yourself, understand it and then you can present the training live to the team. So you've got those two options there but we do have a second, separate course you log into for that training and I explain that all in that staff training module there. So then we're ready for go live. It's just a case of waiting uh, for that uh, date to roll over. Once you go live, you need to finish all of your invoicing out of your existing practice management system. And then we need to transfer all of the work in progress over into XPM. And I've got a template that you can use to transfer that work in progress through. So that's your post go live activities. And we also do some, some things around um, updating our um, integrations and making sure it's all mapped correctly, but all covered in that module there. Now week eight, um, so week, sorry, week six and seven, business as usual, just do your timesheets, get your work done. Week eight, we're gonna be looking at reporting, so I'll take you through some job performance reports and just give you a bit of a navigation around the reports in XPM. And then finally, we'll look at the next step. So now that you've rolled out XPM successfully, what is the next step for your practice? So we'll be looking at things like practice ignition and um, how that works and how it manages all of your engagements and also link reporting. So if we're wanting to take our reporting to that next level around our work in progress and our staff performance and all those things, a uh, really, really cool app, uh, Link Reporting, which we'll be taking you through as well. So that is the entire project. Uh, most of the work is done in those first four weeks with a little bit of work to do once you go live. Really important now you go schedule those uh, times out in your calendar so you don't miss them. And uh, yeah, I really look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the next video.